welcome to a Tartan Zebra Creative Workshop. So today we're going to create a textural and tonal artwork using just found card, coffee, nail varnish and house paint, things that you can find around your house, no specialist art equipment at all. You will need a paintbrush and you will need a pair of safety scissors. These are the kind of techniques that you can try out. These are just some quick examples that I've made using these materials and they didn't take me long at all. So firstly, you need packaging and the packaging needs to have a central corrugated layer of card. You'll be familiar with this from opening up stuff that's probably come through your letterbox recently and you can see the corrugated layer inside the sandwich of two layers of card. If you score that top layer with a pair of safety scissors, you can peel back the top layer of card to reveal the texture below, which is the technique that we're really exploiting today. The other thing we're gonna use is um, a paint made from coffee. So just using simple granulated coffee, um, if you mix it to a paste at the bottom of a mug, not too watery, you've then got a nice strong paint to work with. And the lovely thing about this paint is it dries to a sheen, it almost has like a glossy sheen to it. Then you need to be inspired. I've chosen to use house plants and plants in my garden for my shapes, but you can choose whatever you wish with this technique, whatever you're working on at the moment to experiment with. So firstly, you need to draw your shapes lightly onto your card, just so that you can see them, not dinting the card with your pencil. You then take your scissors and score round your shapes lightly with the scissors so that you can start to peel back the background layer to reveal the corrugations. You do that all around your shapes. If you struggle to peel back the layer, just run your scissors up and down the, the um, dips in the corrugations and that will release some of the glue on the top layer and you can peel back more easily. Okay, so I've peeled back everything, I'm starting to paint. And I'm using the coffee firstly to describe the lines of my shapes and then I'm moving in a bit more in depth to describe the tone, looking at the photograph to help me work out where to put the light and the dark areas. What I'm showing you here close up is how you can bleed the paint into the cardboard surface. I've even dinted the surface with the end of my paintbrush to get the central vein of the leaf a little bit more clearly. And I've left some of the leaf dry so that the, the coffee doesn't bleed onto that area. And I use the card colour in the background as one of my tones, if you like. You can see the finished effect just in coffee in the top left hand corner of that slide. Okay, I want to add some colour. So I've gone to find some old nail varnishes that I have in the home. And then I've used that to add colour accents and the nice thing about nail varnish is it can bring a little bit of glitz, a little bit of shimmer to your piece. That dries very quickly. I've then gone on to use household paint to add detail and decoration to give this a really lovely textural, decorative, dynamic effect. So I hope you enjoy having a go with that. Another way you can use your this technique, see I framed it there, is to start actually not with the coffee but with the nail varnish. So on this example, I've drawn on a leaf shape, I've peeled away the background, I've then added the household paint literally with my fingers into the background, letting it pick up some of the texture of the card. I then poured the nail varnish onto the leaf shape and using a bamboo skewer, I've traced the skewer through the nail varnish layers to create this really nice veiny leaf that's got a bit of flow and sort of fluidity to it. I've even added a bit of white household paint to increase the texture. And as a finishing touch, I've then used the coffee to go into the background again with my fingers, picking up the texture, and then painted um, some coffee painted shapes of leaves and uh, spirals and all sorts of things in the background just to add that extra layer of interest. So I hope you enjoy this technique and it works for some of your projects.